Good, happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First step, drought conditions lead to problems in private wells. Some New Hampshire homeowners with private wells are having water issues as drought conditions per site, especially in the southern part of the state. State local officials react to deadly Dallas police shooting. Five officers were killed in Dallas Thursday night and seven others were injured when snipers opened fire during a peaceful protest against police shootings of black men in other parts of the country. Day after Dallas shooting, family sends lunches to Pelham Police. A generous family sent a pizza, salad, and soda to the Pelham Police Department on Friday. Lost dog spooked by fireworks rescued deep in Conway Woods. A 17-year-old shepherd mix spooked by fireworks during the 4th of July weekend was rescued deep into the woods on Thursday. Sarah Silverman lucky to be alive after bout with epiglottis. Comedian Sarah Silverman says she's insanely lucky to be alive after undergoing surgery and spending a week in intensive care unit due to what she calls a fake case of epiglottis. Bear continues to include conservation officers in Manchester. A small black bear included police and conservation officers Thursday evening in Manchester and witness reported seeing the animal again Friday morning. Woman imprisoned for role in Lizzie Mar Marriott's killing to be released. A woman who pleaded guilty for her role in the murder of a University of New Hampshire student will be released from prison next week. Nashua traffic stops leads to arrest of suspected fentity dealer. A traffic stop Thursday in Nashua led to the arrest of a suspected fentity dealer police. Say. Water spinglings exceed bacteria standards at Sunapee Beach. Water samples collected this week at the Lake Sunapee State Park Beach in Newbury have exceeded the standards for facial bacteria. The Poetry is Saturday. One of the state's largest fundraising event is being held Saturday in the Upper Valley. U.S. Capitol Building no longer on lockdown. The U.S. Capitol Building is no longer on lockdown. Boy on bike impelled by branch after slamming into tree. A young boy is recovering after being impelled by a tree branch when he hit a tree while riding his bike. Where police seek missing teenager. Police and where are asking for the public's help in finding a missing teenager. Clamont woman arrested in 2015 Charlestown home invasion. A woman is arrested in connection with a Charlestown home invasion where a 63-year-old woman was tied up and more than 25000 worth of items were stolen. Gastis raises new concerns about Northern Pass. Northern Pass doesn't pass the transparency test, according to Republican Governor Candidate 
and Manchester Mayor Ted Gastis. Man charged in connection to massive Goffstown fire. A Goffstown teen was arrested in connection with a massive fire in Goffstown earlier this year. GOP rips Obama after Dallas shooting. President Barack Obama's political opponents quickly piled on after news emerged that a gunman had killed five police officers in Dallas, assailing him for his focus on gun control, his overseas trip, and his treatment of law enforcement community. Dallas shooting suspect Mitch Xavier Johnson had rifles, bomb-making materials in his home, police say. The suspected gunman in an attack on police officers in Dallas, which left five cops dead and seven injured, had bomb-making materials, plastic vests, and rifles in his house, police said. The news from police came as police piced together the background on the suspect 25-year-old Mitch Xavier Johnson in the ambush-style shooting Thursday night. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.